Why do we do research this way? Why is hardware so removed from how we design algorithms? The hardware we have impacts so much of what we do with it and so much of the ideas that we're drawn to. We abstracted away so far from what we do that we almost treat it as a separate choice. When in fact our choice of how we design is intertwined with our choice of the hardware it runs on. What's interesting about machine learning papers is that we publish so much, but so few of these papers actually reference the hardware that the ideas are run on. So it's very rare to see a comparison as you talk about a paper about what hardware the model was trained on and a comparison with other hardware. And I think that speaks to how much we've ignored hardware in the algorithm space. So we have thousands and thousands of papers, but you'll see very few mentions of the hardware. It's kind of surprising we don't talk about the tooling we have enough. We almost take it for granted. It's almost like our sunk cost. We're stuck with this, we'll deploy the algorithm. And a lot of that is what first got me interested. How do we arrive at this level of indifference to the tooling we have? And what are the implications of that indifference? A hardware lottery is where the success of your idea hinges on compatibility with downstream software and hardware. So it's where success depends upon luck. I was inspired to write it because when I started talking to hardware specialists about compression techniques, I just realized it was way bigger than just that one problem. So I initially started writing it because I was trying to understand why don't we care more? And then that turned into this wider perspective of, well, what are the implications of why we haven't cared? And it took a long time because in many ways I was piecing together all these subfields that had just evolved separately and trying to piece together the puzzle of why this had had such huge implications and ramifications for how we do research. What the hardware lottery is really saying is that the success of entire research movements in the history of computer science, which is only realistically 80 years, but within that short history, all the movements which have been successful and all the movements which have failed have hinged on this compatibility with downstream hardware and software. A great example is something like deep neural networks. Deep neural networks did not have consensus that this was the right idea, did not have support. In fact, were kind of marginalized from the machine learning community for many decades. And that was largely because of an incompatibility with tooling. The ideas were in place. The, the key components for the algorithmic progress were all in place by the 1980s. So you had things like backpropagation, convolutional neural networks, pairing those two. Those were all in place by the 1980s, but it took an additional three decades before the tooling was in place to show that this was a successful idea. And that's a key example of the hardware lottery. With the choice of hardware that we have, we tend to implicitly overfit to certain ideas which naturally work on that hardware and ignore others which may in fact be more promising but aren't compatible. If you overfit to one type of algorithm, you increase the cost of straying away from that type of approach. And so in terms of charting out the next big idea or way of representing the world, we're making it riskier. We're making it harder for researchers to embark on an entirely different representation. And this is important because it dictates where we spend time and the rate of progress in our field. In that sense, it's something that we want to eliminate. We want to make sure that the idea is chosen because it's the best idea, not necessarily because it just happens to align with what works.